This video is a continuation in our series on the spinal cord, and this video will cover our spinoreticular tracts. Our spinoreticular tracts are going to carry pain resulting from tissue injury. Often we call this deep pain because it involves your organs. And we're going to begin with the same pathways that we have seen before. Our first order neuron cell body is going to be in our dorsal root ganglion. And our first order neuron is going to bring these pain sensations into our posterior gray horn. In our posterior gray horn, we synapse to a second order neuron. And then our second order neuron is going to decussate right away before ascending all the way up to our thalamus where our second order neuron synapses to a third order neuron. So then our third order neuron is going to distribute this information to our cerebrum. And in this picture it shows the primary sensory cortex, but that's not actually what happens because remember you don't have a map of your organs on your brain. So let's look at a better picture. So here in this picture you have your colon and this information comes in over first order neuron synapses to a second and then if you look closely here we have our spinoreticular and our spinothalamic tracts. The spinothalamic tract is this outside tract that's coming up to our primary sensory cortex but our spinoreticular tract comes up synapses to a second order neuron and we come up to our thalamus where we are distributing this information to different areas of our cerebrum so that we can take care of any homeostatic imbalance that actually occurs. If you have any questions about the spinal reticular tract, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.